Hi, everybody. I made a new friend. More specifically, I made a uh, couple of farmers with uh, Ancient Warfare. And I've planted a lot. I've also expanded the island quite a bit. And there's a lot more crops that I need to make. But I have made seeds for tin, marble, diamond, lapis, emerald, gold. I have made a lot of mystical crops. And I still have a bunch more to go. But that's not all I've been building around here. Although a lot of this did make it possible for me to build a bunch of the stuff that I have been making. I made landing pads for both my airships. And uh, Arthrilid has made his own airship. And my original balloon airship was lost. Which happens sometimes. I did get around to making my smeltery. And as you can tell, I've been to the nether a few times. So I've got cobalt and all that good stuff. And that also is where I got all the prosperity to make enough seeds for all of this stuff. It's a lot easier finding prosperity in the nether since it's a normal nether. It's not a, uh, it's not a skyblock nether or skyland nether like this. I have been away from recording for a few weeks, and partly because I felt a little bit down because my viewer numbers are always low, but then again I knew they would be. But I also had a little bit less energy than usual. And I was a little bit nervous about things because I had a heart procedure coming up. And now I've got through the heart procedure. And I feel like it's time to get on with things and get back with things. I think it also helps... when I hear about people that I know who have been watching the videos and like them. I mean, I'm sure I'm never going to have big numbers. Because, well, let's face it, I've been doing this for a couple of years now. Oh, yeah, I built a windmill from Ancient Warfare, too. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. But, yeah, I don't imagine that I will ever have big numbers. Certainly not enough to make a living off of, especially since YouTube keeps changing the rules or getting the rules changed on them, but that's neither here nor there. But it does make a difference to me when people tell me that they like the videos and that they want to see more. 
Oh, and by the way, thanks, Heath. Hi. I've also built a couple of machines down here. Powered by the windmill. This basic alloy smelter runs really slow. I should upgrade it soon. I have also done some work on my other base. The one I was going to build around this uh, shrine. I have gotten a lot done in the last couple of weeks. I also managed to get everything I needed for my wings. This allows me to play with a lot more self-assurance since I'm a lot less likely to fall to my doom just from any little mistake. But yeah, I built bigger landing pads and I plan to build a uh, very big landing pond, I suppose you could call it, for a much larger airship I plan to build. I've got a builder which I have been using to quarry away all this land that's in the way. Powered by a few windmills. And of course there's this big pagoda temple type thing that I have built. And yeah, the astral shrine is on top of it. I'm pretty pleased with it. The uh, lion statues I just uh, found after I did a quick web search for uh, Minecraft's small lion statues. And... I'm not sure why this keeps happening. I have set up the Batania area, and I have got the uh, exotherms That's just my system's running rather slow today. Rat. Oh good, my tombstone wasn't all the way down. I was afraid I'd have to take an airship down to get it. Okay. So yeah, wings. Very handy things for not falling to your doom, but it uses up food, and when your food bar runs low, you start dropping. Now in pancake mode, I can just uh, switch to something to eat, eat it real quick, and then be, get back to flying soon enough to get back into the air. I think I just need more practice with VR for this. But anyway... These endo flames seem to stop working at a certain range from the player. 
and that range seems to be less than the range at which chunks are loaded. Because I think what's happening is that my droppers are still pushing up coal while the uh, endo flames are not working. Anyway, I've got what I think is a pretty cool setup here. And yeah, it does look as if my mana pool is about half full. So yeah, still doing pretty good. But I think that I need to have this thing where it's turned off when I'm not around. You know, there are player detector blocks. I might use that. but later for that. I have also removed the Traveler's Backpack mod from the mod pack because after using it for quite a while I died and then the backpack was empty. So I did not need a backpack that loses its inventory when I die. Oh, I have also made mega torches and put them uh, under the landing pad here and up in the top of the tower and of course in the spawn island. So that makes things a lot easier. So yeah, I really like the way this comes out looking at night, and that is due to these amber lamps. I am pretty well equipped here now because I've got the Solium Dagger, which helps me get mob chunks so that I can grow crops to give me mob drops, which means that I'm able to grow my own ender pearls now. And speaking of enders, I've got the ender, which is the sword from Ender.io, which comes in pretty handy. I'm going to be making some new empowered armor later. So yeah, I have been doing a lot. And a lot of it's been due to the fact that I've been focusing on just sitting in my chair and playing. And there they are hard at work. Just the way I like them. If they run out of food, they just sit in their house waiting for someone to feed them. By which I mean put food into the uh, town center. And sometimes they will run back to their house because they're afraid of something. Mobs can't spawn here anymore because of that mega torch. But these guys still occasionally will run off into their room and claim to be afraid. I think they're just being lazy. Okay, so I've been thinking about what else I need for this area. And it looks like what I really need is more power. Because this builder quarry is taking forever and that's because it's being powered by just three IE windmills so for power I'm going to want some fuel and for fuel I feel like refining some build craft oil which I plan to refine in here. 
I think it started out looking pretty cool. Of course, it's going to look even more cool with uh, pipes and steam and such going back and forth. I'm also going to have to build some big tanks, of course, courtesy of fancy fluid storage. So, yeah, a great big oil tank and some pretty big uh, different fuel tanks. Because I'm going to be getting a few different kinds of fuel from Buildcraft. Now, the sad thing about Buildcraft these days is that not everything runs off Buildcraft fuel. Just a couple versions ago, there was only one version of fuel that you would get by refining fuel. And that one version would usually work pretty well in railcraft boilers, fluid dynamos, IC2 semi-fluid generators, and of course IE's diesel power generators. And quite often they would be the best fuel you could get. That's not really the case anymore. Not everybody has gotten together as far as compatibility with Buildcraft fuel is concerned. But we do have the Energy Converters mod in this pack. And what that means is that we will be able to run everything into some combustion engines from Buildcraft and convert that to whatever kind of energy we like. I really like that idea because I just really like the way Buildcraft engines work and look in the first place. So that's what I plan to do with this building and the towering tank buildings that I plan to build. So next episode, my plan is to start with building these tanks and building an airship to take to the nearest oil spout that I have found and pump that out and bring it back. But that's not what I plan to do with the rest of this episode. I do want to do some exploring, though. And I found this map. A buried treasure map. I didn't even know you could do that in this world. But... There it was in some chest or another I found. Now, I'm pretty sure that this little round dot is where I am. And, of course, the X marks the spot I want to go to. And I am northeast of the borders of the map, which means I'll want to go southwest to get where the map is pointing me. So let's give this a try. There's something else that I'm planning on doing with this pack soon, and I hope to do it between this episode and next. I'm thinking the next update for this pack should have dragons. I'm thinking about ice and fire. I had put that in early versions of this pack, and my son 
seemed to feel that it was causing a fair amount of lag. But I have heard of other people installing it in their server running my pack. And let's face it, dragons are cool. And the problems I had before may have had more to do with some world settings. than with the actual dragons. I finally got around to adjusting my minimap settings too. They're a lot bigger on my hand things, so it's a lot easier to pick them up and look at it with my face. Okay. We want to go directly west now. If the heading of my target is changing this quickly, then it's probably not terribly far away. And that's probably why this dot is getting bigger. And it looks like we're getting really close. So this island right here this should do. Okay, so it's not this island. It's probably that island. Seems to have the right shape anyway. So let's see. Looks like it ought to be pretty close here. Yeah, 
There we are. All right, we got some Man of Steel, music disc, spooky music, amazing Technicolor glasses. I should make some Technicolor crayons. A magenta rune, that's for coloring things in quark. Lots of rotten flesh. I'm not too worried about copper, wooden gears. Pumpkin seeds are nice. And fee fi fo fum, I smell the bones of a bonehead. Let's go somewhere else now. Well, that doesn't really seem like a long enough episode, does it? So I guess I will go home and make those tanks. Then we can have them ready for the next episode. One of the things that playing in on the pancake made easier was landing on these spots. Well, sort of easier in a way, because I could look at my mini-map and center myself right over the ovals. so that I would be centered right over this when I landed. So as you can see, that bug that was plaguing me with the uh, airships trying to dismount me still exists. However, it's really not so much a problem as a time saver when I'm landing because it uh, automatically reforms the ship. So that's actually quite a relief. My mod pack doesn't suck anymore. All right, so tanks. The first thing I need to do is extend this land over this way some. I still have plenty of room to work with. And I have a fair amount of stone. But I think that I will start with a base area over here of cobblestone. I'll probably just make some more cobblestone road like this. And make a square around the area that I want to work with. So yeah, pretty much the same thing as this with a little road area in between. And I'll make the tank around 10 or 12 meters around. As for the tank itself, like I said, I'm going to make it a big vertical cylinder and I'm thinking that this rusty plate should do pretty nicely. I mean, I want to make it an old, well-used feel for the tank of crude oil. And I'm thinking about this asymmetrical leaded glass 
for the windows. And yeah, I'm using fancy fluid storage, so I do believe that I want to uh, have some see-through tanks. So I'm going to grab some cobble and expand this area, and then we can get on with this. And just in case it's worth saying, Tempest Fugit. And tank and landing pad. I hope this pad is large enough. The airship I'm going to build is going to be the largest one that's been in this server. And I'll be building that next episode. And then I can learn how to refine oil all over again. I've done it once, but not on camera. But once I do get that done, then I can set up a bunch of build craft engines and energy converters and have that pumping power into the quarry builder. And then this should get done much more quickly. So yeah, that was an exciting discovery today. I found out that the enhanced building guide from Open Blocks can be used on multiplayer. which I've tried in the past and it didn't work. And it's possible that it's just because I'm an op. I'll have to hand this over to our Thrillid and see if he can use it. So yeah, next episode we'll be working on a tanker airship and then we'll be getting some oil and at least try to start setting up that refinery. So until next time, have some fun, build something cool, grow up, mask up, and have a nice day. <laughs>